Hey folks, I'm Vixen today we are going to play Fortnite, a game by Mixerback Games. It is a Metroidvania in which we are going to play a little drone which has been sent on a planet to retrieve a powerful source of energy. And to do so we need to unlock new abilities to get closer and closer to this powerful source. So as you may have already heard, the game has a pretty amazing and relaxing soundtrack. It makes me think uh, by moment to the um, soundtrack of EVE Online which is also very discreet but very very nice. The game has also flawless art. What you are going to see when we are going to advance a bit through the beginning of the game, there is a scene which are going to just make you starve. It is just very very pretty. So let's just uh, begin. I'm going to resume a new game. I've been playing the game for something like 5 or 6 hours and I'm at 46% 46, 46 of the game. So I believe the game should be lasting approximately something like 10 or 12 hours or maybe a slightly bit more depending if you are getting lost like I do or not. And nonetheless, let's just begin a bit. I will just show you a bit of the beginning and then we'll go a bit further. So be careful of the spoilers. But I want to show you a bit more abilities so you can see what you can expect to be able to do with this little drone because you begin with basically nothing in the ability department so let's just let's just begin Here we are. Cannot move yet. Alright. Here we go. So this is a game which is going to begin very very slowly. It's going to give you the time to just um, sink a bit into the ambience. It is going to take it, its time to just show you the mechanics, to Give you a bit of time to get used to how you move and how you evolve. I can just so this is the inventory. The game is a bit cryptic sometimes because it is not going to tell you much. You will need to figure out um, how everything is going to be working. I don't have my ability. I'm a bit uh, a bit surprised here. So let's just keep going. We're not going to these box here are uh, filled with little bits of energy. So you can just uh, load your life in these. Let's just try to go a bit faster here we go so these are obviously pretty dangerous obstacle and let's just uh, try to go s quickly through this area which is not going to be the most interesting oh so these guys are the other drone which will stand with you and each time you are going to find one you are going to find a new ability i love how the little drone is just looking at us when you are going to be idle let's just pick it up and we're going to get our first ability which is some kind of of shockwave is going to just allow us to protect ourselves a bit against enemy and also to break these if you just destroy these so at first the game is not really difficult it's going to shower you under these little uh, health bonus but it is at some point going to get a lot more difficult without warning as a matter of fact it's going to probably surpri surprise you a bit uh, let's just advance a bit and as the game is very open it is uh, not unusual to go in area where you should not be if you don't have the right abilities it is it is a very good game i don't really have so many things to to go against it <laughs> it is really something so we've got a little key over there which we need to retrieve quickly it is going to enable us to open this thing so if you, can, if you just take a look the shape is fitting you cannot open this but if you just go and pick up the key over there it will be easier let's just i don't really need so much more else and we're going to check also this area up there 
because I don't really remember what we have here. The game is going to give you... Uh, there is plenty of backtracking to be done. I'm, I've am i been getting lost quite a bit in the game and you often do the same area more than once because you will find roadblocks which you will need to come back later on to unblock with new abilities as any good metroidvania will do. Anyway, let's just keep going and we're going to arrive in one of these scenes I was speaking about earlier. Because the uh, game is going to, to zoom out very, very soon. This little guy here with... Um, it's so pretty. So this little guy with a little red light are enemy. It is very, very clear. And if you just attack them twice, they're going to give you a little bit of life. And in the beginning of the game, this game is, is going to be very forgiving. It's going to give you plenty of chance to retry because it's going to give you so much else point. Let's just go all the way up and pick up the little key. So, got birds as well. Plus the music is kicking, so it's going to give us probably one of the most beautiful scenes of the game, frankly. I just pick up this thing. Little, little pass here. We'll need it a bit later. So let's just advance a bit more. I would definitely like to be able to show you the first boss, but I'm not sure if it was far or not. And in the beginning, you don't really have a way to move quickly. You are just a bit slow, but it's going to give you a bit of time to to just gaze at the at the scenery. So let's just try to go down there. You are moving a bit slower into the water, but you can very well just go into it. There is no issue, even though you are a drone, you are not going to be in trouble with water. Okay, let's just go in there and see if I can progress here. So, one of the things we need to gather. Let's just try. You are not obligated to kill every enemy. They are not going to give you any XP, they are not going to give you anything, so you can just avoid them. I like the way that the physics of this thing just reacts, you can bump into enemies, you can move these little things. Okay, we've got one on three. If I'm right, because there is nothing explained in the game, these are going to be used to uh, unlock abilities in a very special room. I'm not sure if it is what it is what I'm saying, but I believe so, so maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Okay, let's just go over there. So these guys are going to be trouble for now. I cannot really take care of them. I can take care of these guys, but I cannot take care of the of the spawner. There is plenty of spawner in the game, which are going to um, make more and more enemies. Sometimes it's useful because it's going to drop you else, but sometimes it is a pain because they just they are just going to come. And oh, we've got a new ability. This is the ability I need to dispose of of these layers. I just pick it up. At first, the game is giving, is giving you plenty of new abilities, but it's going to slow down a bit. And maybe this is the only thing on which I can complain a bit, which is that the abilities are giving uh, are just being given so slowly at some point. Or maybe it's just because I'm getting lost and it's taking hours for me to find the the next area. So you can do two things with this little. Uh, just you can drop one of these mine. Oops, uh, just for a second, I need to destroy that. Alright, here we go. So there is a, a main explosion here, which is much more perfect than what you can do next. So let's just spend a bit, of, a bit of time on this one, because it is a very important mechanic. So we can drop a mine, like this. It's going to explode and make a very, very uh, wide explosion, but you can also use your first ability with your second ability. You can drop a mine, and then you see there is a little aiming uh, line of light which is going to allow you to aim for enemies like that and it is one of the most important mechanic of the game because you will need it in plenty of of puzzles and it's going to be very helpful to deal with plenty of enemies or boss or even this layer here which i cannot really i can go there but i'm going to be in danger if i do that it's just going to be much more easy for me to go through oh, we've got something here let's just destroy it there is also a bunch of secret passage, and as you can see, the, these guys are not really at ease in the water. But you can still push them out. It is important because you will need these for another enigma. I've been spending quite a lot of time to find uh, 
a solution for. <laughs> okay, so we've got, let's say, our first minibus. So this one is a bit trouble because it will... Oh, okay, a bit too far. So it will not let you approach so much. So this is the first enemy where you need to use this. Come on, buddy. Okay, well, I'm not going to do that. So if I just get closer, it's going to push me back. And the only way for you to deal with him is to just throw one of these. Okay, in his head would be more efficient. Come on, buddy. I'm going to get a bit closer, it will be easier. Alright, oh, come on, buddy. And he's just going to fall like that. There is plenty of bosses which you are going to uh, fight, but not to kill. I relax the way they are dealing with bosses. There is quite a lot of good idea in there. And this is why I want to show you the first boss. There we go. No more spawner. Now let's just take a look here. I'm going to try not to get lost, which is not going to be that easy, because I I tend to not really be very good with sense editing. And we've got a map, of course, but it is just a, a very rough map. You see where uh, the exits are. And it is very important to notice that, because uh, you will need to explore most of it if you want to be able to progress. I'm not sure I'm taking the right area here. So this thing is, is locked. I need to find the key. Yes, I need to find the key. So we need to go a bit further. So I'm getting towards the uh, exit. Probably not. Okay, into the water. You've got also underwater enemies, which you will need to be careful of, but maybe not that early. These are also collectible. Uh, so we've been seeing already an item, and this one is... Uh, I'm not sure which one of these is the one which is going to enable you to unlock new ability in this big room I'm speaking about. But let's just take these nonetheless. And I might want to try to destroy this. Alright, while I'm doing that, it's going to be getting us a bit of time, so we can reach the boss a bit faster. And let's just keep going up there. So, do we have access here? Not yet. Or maybe, maybe we won't. I don't remember. <laughs> anyway, let's just keep going. And let's see what we can do. Is there a secret passage here? Because it's definitely possible. There is a bunch of these which are well hidden. As I was saying, you are not really not obligated to just destroy these enemies, and sometimes it's even better to just avoid them. Okay, so where... Okay, we are coming from this space. I, I believe I might want to go for the east exit. exit. Oh, I missed it. Alright. What is very interesting is there is... For these enemies, it's fairly easy to defeat them, but the more you advance, the more different kind of enemy you are going to find. And they tend to have a different way to... You need to use different way to deal with these guys. So, these are dangerous. I'm not sure if I'm in the right direction. Maybe these are just the first of these we are going to see. Oh, come on. I felt a bit too much on this one. Twice. And this one is dangerous. These guys are doing quite a bit of damage. Okay, let's just open this wheel. If I was faster, these would be less dangerous because you can actually dash and you can go faster. And you can take care of these. But at my speed, I'm not really that agile, so I need to be... Careful not to get killed. Are we going to, into the right direction? Not sure. I hope so, but I'm not sure. Okay, we need to push this because the key has been broken. All right. And let's see. I think we are maybe going into the right direction. I need to open this little wheel there. Might find uh, a button somewhere up there. Let's just push this guy. Oh, there we go. So the mine and everything has physicality. You can actually just push them. You can uh, send them back. Not not all the projectiles are are possible to send back, but some are. 
one, one of the things it is important to know. And let's just see, where are we? There is something down there. Okay, we've got a little button here. So we can... Oh, I did not see this one coming. It was not very nice of me. <laughs> I should have just destroyed these two to get a bit of health. We got one other of these and... Uh, Center is going to just get a bit wider. This is really pretty. Let's just keep going a bit. This is where I stop to make screenshots. <laughs> we see as I went. Uh, okay, I think it might be time to stop and kill this guy so we can get just a bit of light which is missing. Ah, maybe not enough. So we don't really realize how slow we are at the beginning, but as we are going to part, to go through this area again and again, it's going to to get more obvious. So it is important to unlock the the speed bonus sooner. And to pay attention to what's happening around, because sometimes you just don't see see this is the lava being removed. I did not see it at first, so I've been going through all the map to find where I, sh I, I, sh I was supposed to go and where we are supposed to go here all right let's let's keep advancing we need to be careful not to fall into lava there is quite a bit of these and you c look at these gates hidden on the side we need to avoid them as much as possible all right let's just go quickly through it so don't get me. I'm going to let them a little gift. Oh, I missed it. And we should be arriving to the key now. Oh, little surprise here. A little key. Uh, do we have any secret passage here? No, not here. I never remember where they are. Oh no! As you can see, I've been taking quite a bit of damage from this one. I completely forgot about it. Anyway, we've been unlocking a passage here which is going to be useful. There is uh, often ways to open shortcuts so you can just go through areas a bit faster. And I don't know where was um, the button, but not, it should not be for. So we are supposed to go... Uh, there is two ways I can, uh, can progress. I'm going to check down there. Might not just a good idea, but still. Oh, it, it should be around here, I think. I'm not sure. Let's just go back. As I was saying, I'm not really good with sunsetting. It might be... trouble at some point. Anyway, let's go back to this button. It was here. Good. And... done. So we just need to use the shockwave to be using this thing. It's putting the, the light on, kind of. Okay, here we go. Let's go through this area. These are quite dangerous. They're going to do a lot of damage to your little uh, drone over there. But these are not really difficult to avoid. As I was saying, the game is, is pretty easy at the beginning. And it's going to get more difficult without warning. If you are not paying attention to where you go, and you, sometimes it's just too dangerous to try to kill everybody, so it's better just to avoid them. Like now, just going to avoid these gates. They're not really fast, and it's fairly easy to avoid the the little projectile here. Just need to be careful not to get too much in danger. Okay, we got a bit of life. I'm just going to drop a bit of explosive around here, so it's not going to bother us anymore. And I know there is something for my else up there. Let's just go through this area. It's, there's plenty of area which are not um, not mandatory, where you can just go through and and not stop. Okay, then. I believe this one is one of these. You don't need to come here, but if you come here, there is something to recover. Alright, let's go back. 
And I just pick up this one. We've been seeing this one earlier, I think. Alright. Not a good idea, just stop, stop that. Ouch! No, not cool. Not stopping, there is a bit of life up there, but... So we've got another uh, door to open. I don't have the key. No, I don't. I've got, I've got none of these, so let's just not stop. And let's just go all the way down there. I'm not going to stop for them. It is better not to do so. Plus... I'm going fast enough to avoid these. Oh, let's just be careful. And this one is going to push me away. And maybe push me into the lava, so I need to be careful. I'm going to shoot it from here. No, or not. You need to hurry when you are going to shoot this thing because they, they are going to explode quite quickly and you don't want to be missing your shots. It's not going to do you any damage though. You can bounce on things, it's not going to damage your pod either. And sometimes it's just even useful to just change direction faster. Until you've got the dash, of course. No, not just in case, just in time. Alright, so let's go to all this. And let's see, there is a little spawner up there. It's important to notice where it is because sometimes you don't just you just don't see them and there is more and more of this guy over time. So what do we have here? More of these little slime thing which are sending a bit of lava toward us. Let's just try to avoid them properly and pick up this little thing. I did not manage to destroy this yet, I'm not sure if it is any useful. But I don't have the tool to do so. Maybe it's just there. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Not nice. Okay, let's just be careful. I've got some enemy over there, which is just going into the, the void. So, I've got full life. It should be enough to go and see the first boss, isn't it? Where is it? It's not there yet? Maybe. Let's just check. I'm pretty sure it's around here. Yes, it is here. Look at that guy. It's a snake plant. So, here it is. And it's not happy to see me. He's also guarding the key. He's going to throw a bit of these. And the way to do this is, is to go and... Come on, buddy. Come to me. Ouch. Not like that. And and this guy here is going to help me quite a bit. The plant is going to get a bit angry. And if you just drop this guy into it, it's going to allow you to progress toward your goal. So it is... You don't... You cannot... You cannot... You can fight it like that, but I'm not sure it's going to work at any time. It is doing damage, but frankly, it's just easier to do it that way. Okay, buddy. Pretty sure you're angry. It's going to add a bit of up shooting up like that. I just try to make it... You don't want to break this thing behind you. Come on. I'm pretty sure you're angry. Go for it. Okay, done. Let's go for another one. So basically this boss is more about appeasing the beast than to kill it, which I quite like. I think with 3 it should be enough. I just need to avoid a bunch of flames again. This is the first boss, it's not a very difficult, difficult one, but you, you need to find the way you want to kill it. So, more of these, more of these. Hopefully I've got plenty of else available, and what is very cool is that if you're really in trouble you can actually kill this guy and just get a bit more of this. Okay, done. See, it's going to be all tranquil and all, and you can just go around it like that and pick up your key. Okay, let's see. I'll just pick up this key. And get I think we're going to just make a little switch. I'm going to take my other game. And I'm going to show you a bunch more abilities. You can see what you can expect your little drone to do. So let's just let's just do that. Okay, here we are. We are a bit further. Where am I? I don't see me. Oh, I'm on the side. Okay, so let's just go through this area. I'm going to just give me a bit more. Oh, come on, buddy. 
let's just take care of these guys a bit. I'm going to use my regular ability to do that for now. But eventually we'll just I will just show you some more. <laughs> Sorry buddy, you are swimming now. So let's just take care of this. I can get a bit of time to show you all the new toy we've got to play with. Come on buddy. Can shoot a bit better. Or not. I just give them a Okay, it's done. Oh, almost. There we go. Okay, better. This buddy here is going to go back underwater. Alright, so we, get, we are a bit further on the, on the game. Uh, exactly 46% further. And the map is a bit bigger now. So our destination is still as a um, little dot which is uh, blink, Not really blinking, but a bit. A bit. Uh, on the... Um, southeast of the map. I did not manage to reach it yet, but there is quite a bit of room which are being added here. And what you can see on the left, I've got um, a bunch of ability. I've got the, the shockwave, uh, the first uh, point with the circle. Then I've got the mine, and then I've got the dash. And I've got two more things uh, a little bit um, further. I've got the ability to go faster, and the double mine, which is also pretty useful. So let's just go through this ability. So I was able to use a shockwave before. I'm still able to do so. I've got also two mines now. It's going to enable me to do a bit more. And I can also use them both at the same time to just tackle two enemies. Uh, then I've got the amazing dash, which is going to be very handy. You can go through some kind of, of, of doors through it, thanks to the, ability, the thrust ability of this. Uh, you can also kind of punch enemy with it. Uh, really big enemies, you can just punch them and it's going, it's going to be very very useful to just uh, put them down. And I've got also the magnificent uh, speed ability. Let's just advance a bit. If you remain uh, without touching anything for a bit of time, you've got a little uh, white circle which is going to appear and you're going to go much, much faster. It is a very handy ability because when you get lost as often as I do, you might want to go quickly through the, uh, through areas. So this one is very very handy. And I don't really remember what I was uh, supposed to go, but let's just try to take a look. So I'm on the room on the right, the one which is a bit wider than the others. And I've got something pretty to do on the left uh, and the, on the top of the area. So these things which we are running around are teleporters. So you can just uh, teleport from one to the other. You cannot choose where you go. These are linked uh, by pair. So you can use them to go through the map, but it is not... Uh, you cannot choose your destination. Okay, let's go through. We're going to just go a bit through these areas. I can show you a bit more different enemies. So you can see how the difficulty is going to increase. And... Uh, and show you a bit more of these abilities. By the way, uh, at this point it's going to be basically a spoiler, so if you don't want to um, learn too many things about the game, you might want to just not continue this video. Anyway, let's just keep going. Okay, so these are uh, other versions of the slimes which are a bit more powerful, let's just not let them uh, get too many too, too quickly. And, okay, these are not too dangerous yet, because we've got enemy like these which are also come on buddy so this one these ones are just going to spawn more it is nice <laughs> it is not as dangerous as the other one because there is another kind which is going to um, spawn some kind of, of deadly energy when they die and there are other kind which are going to also spawn lava or explode a bit explode a bit more violently and stuff so I was adding yes north let's try to do that Okay, this is one of these areas um, I did not find how to progress through, so we'll just need to go back there later on. Let's just go around a bit just to show you a, a bunch of other area and how we're going to deal with these. Uh, oh, it is not what I, where I should go, but it is a, a place I should show you nonetheless. So the room we've got on the left is um, kind of the ability room. Each of these hexagons here are going to... Uh, be filled with ability, mm, not filled, but there is going to be one ability in each and you need to go back, I'm going to try to go back to this room so I can just show you a bit how it's working, it is an important room let's just keep progressing I'm not sure where we are going to go into the right direction but 
at least we'll find oh these enemies are interesting so these are just trying to eat you kind of so there is only one way to deal with these guys and it is not to get close to them so the best way to deal with that is to actually uh, send these little guys over them and i should have done that maybe differently because it's not going to yes it's working you see uh are they going yes one time let's just go for another, another time i just try to send them in the right direction hey buddy there we go i think we need three of these to destroy this and i'm not just going to do anything else is it dead maybe one more oh it's dead okay good let's go don't want to get any closer because these are going to damage you quite a bit i cannot progress here i don't think there is any secret passage here i might want to try though just in case i would find something i did not uh, spot earlier because there is always thing you don't see at first okay one more of these we're just going to go through let's just not let it damage us we've got uh, Come on, there we go. These are probably the newest enemy I've been encountering recently. And each new I tend to try to teach you new things. Okay, so these are the gates I was speaking earlier, which you are able to go through thanks to the trusting ability here. I'll just try that so I can just think for a sec where am I? Okay. I'm going to push these, but with two mine it's a lot easier to deal with these guys because they're going to move, but maybe not fast enough. Okay, I just try to get these all. Oh, here you go. I forgot something. No, I'm not going to get it. Good. Okay, so let's just take a look. Where do we go from here? I think we were heading for the temple, so we might want to go that way. The temple is pretty. There you go. It's a bad idea. Okay, so here we are. Where is the temple here? It is really another pretty location of the game. Let's just go on the right and I'm going to show you the, um, the ability room. And I'm not sure I will be able to unlock a new ability. And I might want to go south a bit so I can just show you one of the puzzles. So I want to probably explain a bit the puzzles and how they are going to work. There is a bunch. They tend, they tend to be time limited and what is really important is uh, the execution of it. You will need to be precise in the way you are going to do this because uh, the drone has a little bit of inertia. So when you're going to rotate you are going to be, uh, you will need to be careful about its weight and to make quick turns and stuff like this it is important to take this in account. So this room is the ability room so if you want if you arrive with enough uh, i don't really know if it is uh, the first thing with uh, the moon like uh, croissant or also the uh, screw over there but uh, one of these is going to unlock one of these and you see i've been moving a bit of of this area let's just take a look here and and when i'm going to bring enough i'm going to open this area on the on the bottom here and will give me a new ability on the first one you will get the speed it's important because the speed is just so useful and the second one will be a surprise <laughs> i'm just not going to tell you let's just go back a bit that way so where uh, are we going to find another interesting area to show so you can move and check on the map it's not always advisable because it might be leading you into traps but in this area where you have uh, basically no danger you can very well do it uh, so let's just keep going i really like the way the, these uh, kind of things are also uh, physical so you can just put a bunch of these and you can move these oh, not as much as i would have so but let's just try to push these a bit and here we go with the um, with the dash it's a lot easier and there is a bunch of enigma which are going to a ask you to just move this thing at the right point and maybe other thing you will see which are interesting let's just go through this area i believe it might be um, a puzzle room here 
And there is a, even a little thing I did not actually pick up. I was wondering, I believe this crew might be the one I'm using to uh, unlock abilities because they are of the same shape of the... Okay, so this is another... I was speaking about um, a little slime which were exploding with lava and stuff and this is the area where you can find them and this is an area where you're going to take plenty of damage as you might have seen, I'm almost dead let's just be careful so when you die, let's just speak about this um, because I'm almost dead you go back to the entrance of the of the screen, so I would have just gone back to the entrance of this of this area. It seems not much, but sometimes you spend a lot of time on one of the screen, and it can be crippling a bit. Okay, so where are we, and what am I doing here? So this place was locked before, so let's just try to keep progressing here. It is a shortcut. And let's see if we can find more kind of enemies. Okay, there is a bit of lava here. It is... Oh, we've got something here. I might want to check. I might have already checked because I think I had this little skill. When I've been checking this area, it might be a bit deadly here for me. Okay, let's just avoid this. Alright. And let's just keep going. Okay, this is another enigma. I'm not going to show it to you because I don't really have the materials anymore but it is about weight and you will need to find the right amount of weight to actually uh, open this area and I don't know way, uh, how you get the screw at the at the right here I will need to come back at some point and just figure it out maybe I don't have the right uh, ability nonetheless let's just keep going I'm looking for uh, oh there is a key on the left good to know but I don't have I cannot access this place. I've got this one. I think I might want just not to show you too much because it is important to discover things by yourself in this game. It is part of the fun. And let's just try to find a beautiful room. Oh, oh, these are fun. Uh, they're going to shoot at you. They're, they, they tend to be sometime. Come on, buddy. They tend to be sometime with little buddies which are going to chase you. Ah, oh, I, I missed it. Ah, come on, buddy. There you go. And then, No more. Just pick up a bit of life and not get killed. Come on, I've got two of these and I missed you both. Ah. Almost there. Okay, I was speaking about these earlier. Let's just uh, kill this one so I can just show you a bit more. So these are going to... Come on, buddy. They're going to spawn something which is very deadly on the uh, death location. You need to be careful about this. When there is plenty of enemy on the screen, it can be quite dangerous because it's going to prevent you fr from going to some space when you need to be able to move around. And these, uh, I think these were lava one, but I'm not sure. Maybe these were just regular ones. And the issue with the one which are spawning, this is the pink thing, is that they are not dropping else. So it might be trouble. Oh, okay. Did I not? Okay. Uh, one thing which is probably important to f to mention is that enemy are respawning. So if you are going from one room to the other, they are always going to be there. So this room is filled with enemies. It's probably not ri the right uh, spot for us to be. It's going to be quite dangerous, and they are going to spot even more enemy when we are going to clear the room. So let's just I kill them quickly if I can, because I was saying the little character has a bit of inertia to tell... Oh, come on, get out of here. Okay, this one is not dangerous, but the other one are. There you go. Come on, buddy. Come back, I've got plenty of things for you. Oh, clearly too high, <laughs> too low. There you go, and they're going to send me a bit more reinforcement, maybe? Yes, here they are. Alright. And here they go. Anyway guys, I think we are not going to go much further. We are going to close in this room, which is quite pretty, as most of the game, frankly. Uh, so guys, I hope you liked the video. If you do, please leave a like, a comment, or subscribe. 
and I'll see you next time guys bye bye